Crochet Lace Quartz Tutorial 10 This time I will be making this beautiful lace cord. Later I'll show you how to use it for bigger projects. Make a foundation chain of 4 1, 2, 3, 4 Single crochet through the first chain stitch of our foundation chain Now, turn the work to the back side to have chain stitches on top. Here we have chain space of 3 chain stitches. Continue, chain 3 to replace a double crochet. Double crochet 4 into the chain space. Make 4 double crochet stitches. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now chain 3 for the chain space and double crochet 5 into the same chain space. One. Two, three, four, and five. Now turn the work counterclockwise to the other side, and we need to work double crochet five decrease or double crochet five together. Chain two to replace the first double, and then double crochet three in each of next four stitches. Do not finish the double stitches, leaving the last loop. Of each double on the hook. You have five loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook at once. Continue with a four chain pico, chain four, insert the hook through five loops of our decrease stitch, yarn over, pull through five loops of the decrease stitch and through the loop on the hook. We've just made a four chain pico. Continue chain two, one, two, single crochet two into the chain space, one and second single stitch, chain three, and again single crochet two into the same middle chain space. Continue chain 2 and double crochet 5 together. Make 5 unfinished double crochet stitches through following stitches. The last double crochet work into the chain stitch. Here is the chain stitch, the first chain stitch in previous row after the double stitch. Six loops remain on the hook, yarn over and finish the stitch pulling a loop through six loops on the hook. Now make a four chain pico, chain four and a slip stitch in five loops of our double crochet five decrease stitch. Second row is ready. Now turn the work counterclockwise and start the next third row. Move the yarn behind the work. Now make a slip stitch through in each of next two chain stitches. Work in back loops. Now continue, make a slip stitch in each of next two single crochet stitches. Here they are. Insert the hook under the two top strands of the stitches. Do not tie up these slip stitches too much, otherwise the lace won't look good. Let's continue. Single crochet into the chain space of three, 
chain two and into the same chain space make four double crochet stitches one two three and four chain three one two three and double crochet five into the same chain space of three one two three four and five now turn the work counterclockwise and begin the next row start with double crochet five decrease stitch chain two to replace the first double then dub then through the next stitch make a double and do not finish it do the same through the next three following stitches you have five loops on the hook yarn over and complete the decrease stitch continue with a four chain pico chain four and a slip stitch in five loops of decrease stitch now chain two one two single crochet two into the middle chain space one and two chain three for the chain space and single crochet two more into the same middle chain space continue chain two one two and double crochet five together make five unfinished double crochet stitches through following stitches the last double crochet I'm working into the chain stitch. Six loops remain on the hook, yarn over and finish the stitch pulling a loop through six loops at once. Continue with a four chain pico, chain four and a slip stitch in six loops of decrease stitch. Now turn the work, make a slip stitch through an each of next two chain stitches, work in back loops of stitches then make a slip stitch through an each of next two single crochet stitches and into the chain space of three make a single crochet chain two make four double crochet stitches and chain three again and double crochet five Turn the work and repeat the same. You can make very long cord or stop the work after a couple of sections. This is two side lace cord. If you use the rainbow colored yarn, the lace will look like this. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe.